the ruble is struggling a little bit, but it does seem the sanctions haven't done much because let me let me share this uh, information, this data out just this morning. about the Russian economy compared to the United States. This is from Business Insider. Uh, so they say that Russians have added $600 billion in wealth since the beginning of the war, that they've added 56,000 new millionaires, and they've added 4,500 new people worth over $50 million. Business Insider then says, the United States has shed $5.9 trillion during this same time frame. And if you combine North America with Europe, it's, it's almost $11 trillion poorer compared to Russia that's up $600 billion. So how can you have every sanction that they can invent uh, against one country and they're saying it's working, they're collapsing. Yes, I know their ruble is struggling, but this is data coming out just this morning from Business Insider. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? So it's very clear, Stephen, that uh, the Biden administration has miscalculated the potential for use of economic sanctions. I said uh, back when we first started talking and before that, that Russia had fully planned uh, to deal with the sanctions. They knew before the war started, before the invasion, that there would be sanctions. And they had had a long-term economic plan to deal with them. I, I'd say that their plan has been successful.